September 11th, 2021. I think God gave us the colors quite nicely this morning. There's something we didn't see much of for a while, 20 years ago. And until about two seconds ago, it was pretty much just as quiet here. Well, that I know of. So, red and the white and the clouds and the blue in the sky. If you want to go a little farther, we got red and white cows. And more red and white cows. And there's... More of them, right there. Hey, Burners. That one's Mom's. Her name's Fancy. She's a high-strung dinghy. Bat crazy. Yeah. That one's Katie. She's just an old pack horse and a farm horse and a hunting horse. Easy going. Don't give a damn. If you want to move fancy, you have to put a halter on her and make sure you got to get a hold of the lead rope. If you want to move Katie, uh, just flip your coat over and let it rest on her neck and walk. She'll follow. So, I made it part way out there. And I stopped to open a gate. Notice the cow next to me is staring at something up here. As I turned my head, I noticed the cows that were in the bottom were staring up here, and then I could see the steers were all staring over here. About that time, my phone rings, and it's daughter number two, who is standing right here in front of the bike, telling me the horses are out. Well, I can't see the horses at that point, and she's down here. I'm like, well, where are they? She says, they're right here. Right where? They were right over there by the manure spreaders. But they were. Don't know what happened. For some reason, that wire from this temporary post down to the other post at the other edge of the screen was laying on the ground. It isn't now. It usually isn't hot either because they don't care. But right now it's hot, so... And yeah, it needs another post in the middle. I guess I need to make another temporary. Because unfortunately we got to do something. We get in and out with equipment. So anyway, and there's your sunrise. And yep, another plane went over. So it's actually kind of interesting. If they're going to leave contrails, I usually see at least a half a dozen by now. And I've only seen two. Oh, well. I got to get something done besides chasing horses around. Familiar? I was getting ready to pull the big traveler out down in the bottom. And mm -hmm. when it pulls it in, you pulls it in tight. I just grab the belt and pull a couple times on it, loosens it up so I can pull the clutch piece off and let it freewheel out. It didn't want to turn so easy. A little broken pieces there. That was my spacer for the back side of the bearing. Let the bearing slide in and or that. Didn't turn so great. So made a new spacer. Piece of water pipe. The bitch is getting it true enough in an even thickness. Which I cheated. Old speaker magnet. I stuck it on there and took the grinder to it. So I think I've got it where it's going to fit now. And that's what I'm going to try to put back together. Uh, broke the clip on the inside. So I just found another one that should work. If this one doesn't, mm -hmm. that one right there I believe will. And yeah, I got gloves on because anti-seize and everything else. And I got a hole in one finger from... 
poking the hot welding wire through it yesterday and a scrape on the back of the same hand so I keep that stuff clean right so anyway I'm hoping to get this done before lunch but I'm kind of running out of time on that long freaking process once again I didn't bring you along for the fun Two little dark spots and a shiny spot in the middle. I cut actually probably almost three sixteenths out of that by the time I was done to get the ID to where it fits right. And then I had to file the seam off, which I just did. Oh, come on. One-handed crap. I just had a look at that. Fits right on. And now that I got it on there, I can measure and see if I need to uh, make it a little thinner or not and that's my last snap ring that size little fit so if something happens that means I go to that C clip which will do the same job and I'm hoping that somewhere laying here is the other snap ring it better be laying here I'm screwed well, I still got the C clip. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. It is running again. Down here in the bottom, even with a little one up on the hill running. I had 102 pounds at the reel. Which incidentally kind of seals the stupid seal on the reel. Kind of. It uh, was spraying right up until I turned the turbine on which actually drops it like one or two pounds usually maybe more depending on how much you don't have on it and all of a sudden it quit spraying it's still dribbling like it always does but at least it ain't spraying and i just moved some stuff I'm gonna see if i can tackle that rake hopefully show you a little something there assuming i got what i need to do it with we'll find out you think you got it all figured out you didn't look at it really hard the first time. You wondered why they only weld it there. And you get that. Take a whole saw and you go over that. And you get that just almost through. And you're wondering if you're through far enough. Maybe you can force it. Break what's left. Because there can't be much weld left. Yeah. And you notice that weld. Those dirty bastards. They did do it right. They did it the way I would have done it. Did they line it up right at the factory originally? Maybe, maybe not. Because, see if you can see down there to the other end. I can't see the camera now. They are not on the same angle. They are nowhere near the same angle. See if I get you to the right spot. I'm kind of looking through the jack to see it. If that one down there is like this, this one's down like this. So, I mean, I assume it twisted. But they could have put it on wrong. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Other than go right in there and cut it off and make a whole new piece. So I think what I'm going to do to overcome it, they were nice enough to box this in, and that is all boxed except for right here. The other side's boxed. I think I'm just going to cut it off right here. Slip it up a little. I don't know. I may just leave it for now. Weld this spot back up and call it good. Because the uh, big issue is, you see the threads below that cross piece? We were bottomed out there and still hitting the ground too hard. Something that will help <clears throat> is if we put new tires on. That'll raise it that much easily. Because uh, I'm not sure how tall these are new, but at least an inch taller than these. Get it at least a half inch farther off the ground, which would do what we got to do. So... Yeah, I thought I had a cheap, easy fix. I was wrong. That happens once in a while. Oh, and by the way, that's up there, 365, 24-7.
there's been one up different bin, but there's been one hanging on the bin for over 20 years. And with the exception of a few years, there's usually one hanging on that antenna too. Combine's Combine and bail wagon, I think they're still on, but they're in pretty bad shape. They need to get changed. So, anyway, hope you all have been safe today. Hope you all remember. Never forget. Never forgive. What happens when somehow your spool of wire has a kink, and you think it's in the tip, and you can't figure out why with the tip off, you still can't get the wire to feed. Yeah, you pull the, everything apart. That's how far I made it when it went. It, that goobery looking spot, that's where it screwed up on me. So, yay. But, there we go, ready to go again. <laughs>